I think the top reason people are not involved is fear. I think people are afraid. I think people are afraid of black people. So I think when they put, you know, the young African Americans on the TV screen, um, especially the first night, people were terrified of tattooed African American young people um, playing loud music. And so I think that presented prevented a lot of people from going down. Um, I think if we were being honest, um, what young black people do is pretty close to what young white people do, whether it's playing loud music or whatever. I don't think that they are doing something so distinctly different that um, we should be as fearful of them as we are. Um, but the narrator was already set. I think the other part, um, the other reason why people were not as involved is um, I think people didn't know what to do. So the, uh, the middle generation, I keep referring to them, so not the baby boomers and not the young people, um, had no practice or training in organizing a protest or a march. Or, so we want to get together and we were kind of at a loss on like what to do. Like, oh, that sounds like a good idea, but how would you organize a march? And so I think the, the training that maybe could have happened between the baby boomer generation and like the X generation didn't occur around organizing. And so I think there was a, a gap there. And so I think people were not as, as active also because they had young families. And so just like noticing the family dynamic of if you have two parents, then one of you all is gonna have to leave the family in order to be part of the protest. Um, it was a very female led protest, which means the mom might be that person uh, doing that work. Um, and that also shifts the dynamic if you have two parents, right? But if you're a single mom, that means you have to leave your kids by themselves. And so I think um, that was another kind of uh, conversation that was happening on the ground of Ferguson as people were talking about children being present, but mothers wanting to be part of the protests and responsible mothers bringing children with them versus leaving them at home. And, you know, I don't think we could even understand that is good motherhood when you don't leave your kids at home by themselves and you allow them to witness change in real time. Um, I, I think the third, quite honestly, reason that people were not involved um, was lack of imagination and belief that it could be different. I think we had become so socialized that this was our reality that black people get killed at the hands of law enforcement and that's just what happens, that we couldn't even imagine a world where that was no longer true. And again, that's what I would thank the young people for, having enough courage to imagine that their lives would not have to be hostile for the rest of their lives. That's cool. <laughs>